in defense of Abby. I would break Joe's face every freaking time. And if I was Ellie, I would kill every last one of them every time. And if I was Joel in that hospital, I would do it again. And then somewhere in the middle of all this chaos and back and forth of lives lost, I took a step back, dropped the pad and stared at the screen. Because at some point, playing this game, I flinched. I couldn't pull the trigger. I couldn't finish the job. Why is that? Let's talk Abby, Joel and Ellie. But to talk about Abby, Joel and Ellie, you must analyze the mind state of these three characters and understand what they have in common. Quick analysis, please. Analysis on all these three characters' mindset, please. Post-traumatic stress disorder or PTSD is a psychiatric disorder that may occur in people who have experienced or witnessed stressful, frightening or traumatic events. Someone with PTSD often relives their traumatic events through nightmares and flashbacks. They may have experienced feelings of isolation and guilt. They may also have problems sleeping such as insomnia and find concentrating difficult. The symptoms of PTSD are often severe. They can have huge impacts on your day-to-day -day life which can affect decision making. They can change who you are. Question: Have you ever had to watch your friends and loved ones lay there on the floor, gone? Have you ever had such an event change the course of your life? Have you ever had such an event like that lead to you being homeless? I'm guessing not. Maybe you could have been a doctor, maybe an engineer. Maybe with the vaccine and the world fixed, you could have been a professional gamer. Maybe you could have been a streamer or a YouTuber. Sure, you could have made the next best Mass Effect game. Maybe even invented the next Among Us or Fortnite. But no, you're homeless and the world remains the same. Forced to be a soldier or rebel. And this guy took all that away from you and more. For what? Because his father complex kicked in after some days or weeks with a stranger. His feelings got the best of him. So everyone dies and suffers. I lose mine because of your failure to think logically. How selfish. That's not just me talking as Abby. That's me talking as a neutral person hearing this story. A neutral person who's lived in the Last of Us universe who also lost one on D-Day, like Joe, who's had to see the loved ones taken by these things, these clickers. Joel, you ain't special. You're not unique. Your story isn't better or any more depressing than mine. Regards, motherfucker. Everyone gives their regards. Fucker. And then I fall back again. Why? Because a flashback hits me. Why? Because, have you ever had a loved one you cared about taken from you? To the point where life isn't the same. Have you ever seen the light from someone's eyes go dark as you hold them in your arms? Have you ever had that feeling of survivor's guilt haunt you every day? Every day you wake up, it's there. And at some point it goes away. Happiness, joy. The world ends with Joel and Ellie. For Joel, there's no world without Ellie. Because if there's no Ellie, I don't know what Joel does. And he knows that too. He wants to rectify a wrong. He wants to save his daughter. So he saves Ellie. And on face value, it's disgusting to Ellie because this monster has chosen the wrong option. The selfish option. She had a chance to end the suffering and pain, to give her life meaning. Indirectly, he's put blood on her hands. He's done the unforgivable. Fucker. So I will never forgive So Joel. she will never forgive Joel. Fucker. And then I fall back again. Why? Why? Because a flashback hits me. Why? Have you ever had someone you cared about brutally taken away from you as you lay there helpless? Have you ever been held down as such a thing occurred? 
Knowing this person is gone forever. Knowing there are things left unsaid. Knowing everything this individual done was for you because of love. Knowing that there's probably nobody out there that would sacrifice so much for you. And when that person is taken away in such a fashion, what do you do? What do you do? You find the people who did it and you kill every last one of them for Joe. Some minutes ago I said I couldn't finish the job. It's because I was being pulled in three different directions. The execution wasn't perfect, but nonetheless executed.